Ladies and gentlemen, future leaders, please welcome Michael Mirage. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? You're inspiring. I want to thank also the organizers of such a court to have invited a humble young man from Remo who will speak to you today with all strength trying to hold back every bit of tears on simple words as a theme determined to defeat disappointment. You will find that most times people don't believe inside of you. Outside of you, beside you. I like to speak Jamaican language. So if you have a little difficulty, raise your hand and I'll translate. <laughs> you see, most time when you come on a function like this, there is a profile, there is something that's been said about you. But there is an underneath truth that sometimes is what keeps us going. It is the truth that most people will sit down and lay down in their bed and look up and say, the boy, the lie, you know. Because they cannot see how God has taken you from that to this. How God can move you from nowhere. Come on now, somebody agree. And put you where? Somewhere. Eyes have not seen. Come on church. Ears. Now it entered into the heart of man. That when they see you walking down the road, when they see you driving up the road, when they see you being driven down the road, you have to just push out your head sometime and say, look at me now. You, you see, it is not an easy task to stand in front of a group of elite. Yes, you are. Following two elite bright speaker and two will follow me. Why am I in the middle? The dunce is in the center. <laughs> you see, you have to know who you are and accept who you are. Don't let people determine who you are, where you should be and where you should come from. It come from Rima and you can't change that. They killed my father from your tree. So what? Enough people lose them father a long, long, long time. But that doesn't mean we can't come out to something good. You know, when I look at the same thing I must talk to you about, people say, but you're a chartered accountant. So what? You are MBA. That doesn't make no difference. Everybody have two hands, left hand and right hand. Look around if anybody have Miglan. If you find one that a thief. <laughs> can I speak the truth up here? You see, those little letters, cats and bats and peas and hems don't mean a thing. What means a lot to me is who has lifted me up when everybody wants to put you down. It's who has stood with me when everybody run away from you. It's who has been there as the force pushing you. To tell you you can do it irrespective of what people want to say. Laurie, I tell you this. It's not the fire in you and fire around you. My Bible tells me in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4. That you have overcome them little children. Because greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. Make hypocrite and criticize a talk all they want. But there is going to come a day. Somebody say, come a day. Okay. When I look at it, that I took the same exam. Mm. <laughs> not g -sat or fat nor not. It is the common entrance. Yes, I am 44 years of age. Me, not sure. But as common as it was. <laughs> Can I speak the truth? You see, Jesus is a private affair. 
It goes to each school separately with the names of the students from that school. But common entrance, oh Lord, it's a public affair. Common entrance come out in a glean. And if you want to know your result, then your mother or father, aunt, your uncle, or whosoever care will have to go and buy a cleaner. And it's an easy match. If you name in the cleaner, you pass. Then if you name not in the cleaner, it means... My mother take the little money where she had before she consult with me. Before she go and buy the cleaner. And I'm watching her with her futile effort. Go into the center section where are 40,000 names. And going through little by little. Searching for a name that she will never find. And my mother is very diligent. My name is Michael Norman Mirage. And she's searching for Michael. Mirage. And she not see that. So she gone now to Mirage. Michael. And you know she never see that. So maybe they make a mistake. It's under Norman Michael Mirage. And when my mother realized that it's not there, then she said, must be Norman Mirage Michael. Why is my mother putting herself through this? You need to understand. Some of you can identify with me. When you have parents who are working in what we call the dungeons or the lowest part of society, and you lose a parent, they are looking out for the best in their child. They don't care what neighbors want to say. They don't care what uncle and aunt want to say. They are saying, this is my son. This is my daughter. This is my niece, my nephew. And I am looking out for the best. When my mother realized that my name, our names, was not in the gleaner. She went and buy another gleaner. Because the first gleaner, no print right. Can I speak the truth? So I, so I move on to the secondary school. And at the secondary school, you have to go and do CXC and all those difficult stuff. And I, like most boys and girls, my mother sign up and save up to do 760 because they had paid for it. Then it would only be natural that I turn up and sit them. <laughs> Can I speak the truth? And unlike my bride friend, who went through so much and still get ones and twos. Can I speak the truth? I passed one CXC. Uno. Dege, dege. Singular, anything you want to understand. One. Everybody say one. one. And I see the bright people them. Collecting application form for university and college. So them going up to cost. The College of Agony, Stress and Tension. <laughs> now it name you take. It means you go up there and take what you want. <laughs> but I was observing the bright ones. And the bright ones collect form. We collect form too. <laughs> the bright ones writing up form. We <laughs> write up forms too. The bright ones going out to parade, Karima will come from, taking bus to Papin, me and go up Papin too. Everybody I look for chaos on the reach of Papin, me I look for chaos too. Sorry if me I stress it out, everybody I want to go in. Everybody I look for admin. Everybody gone in there. Everybody a giant line. Everybody a hunting farm. Everybody a wait. When it come my time. 
Lady look on my phone. And she scroll down his mouth. No, no. And she look in at the space. And she see one CXC. She look up on me. And say, do you realize? She asked me a rhetorical question. Do you realize that there is only? Come on, church. That there is only? As a lady, it's me right up the farm. The space is so big, you can't make no mistake that me only have? You know, Jamaican people, no matter how them well composed, no matter how them had a good cup of coffee, when a boy like me come from Rima with my chub, the lady flash off and say, L -l listen to me. <laughs> the day too early. <laughs> Take your farm. And you know, Jamaica stay. Everybody around you are listening to your business. More than feed them business. People are touching themselves, Jesus, here, 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 here. This a boy, I have one CXC. <laughs> and the lady said to me, you know that this place needs four CXC if you come in? That time it was four. And when I'm walking with my phone, it is between me, myself, and I. Sometimes if you pay nobody in a business, they don't know what you are going through. They don't know why you leave all the way downtown with a farm with one CXC going into a place where them, they don't tell you, say they want four, and you still write up and join line of honey teen and wait upon somebody to tell you the obvious. But there are times when the obvious come home to you. The farm say, me need four. I'm going to start love. Because it never see if you pass for one time. <laughs> the farm say we need how much? One. But it never say we have you pass one. one time. So I go back and I sign up for one CXC. And my friends, them laugh me to scorn. How can anybody pick me? Take one wall a year. <laughs> for the one CXC. I said, my mother paid for seven. And I passed one. I know my limit. <laughs> Don't watch people race. Yes. If them can't pass ten, make them take ten. But me only can pass one. So me I do one. When I go back up there three years later, with my farm, come on, come on, walking with a little bit more pep in my step, walking with a little more determination, because unless the rules change, four are going to bring me to this place, and me honey my farm, and when my name comes, and them got through the necessaries. Ladies said, do you have supporting documentation? I said, one in every pocket. <laughs> one day or so. One day or so, because the paper so big, I wand upon each of them, except the one with the seven when me pass only one. At the end of everything, me in a dot. <laughs> At the end of everything, me in a chaos, me a college student, me a university student, I am at the tertiary level. Who can take it then bite it? Because me come for a degree, I me nah run, left it. And as usual, there is always a little teacher for take said point. <laughs> Michael Mirage. Come and do this on the board. You want Miss Bank Reconciliation? The woman asked me to do the hardest topic. 
She never asked nobody from Calabar. <laughs> George is champion. Those big schools where the bright students go. He's asking the little man from Rima. You see, when I sit down in the class, yes, little brace is the words have now come out, sir. And I sit down in the class and just say, introduce yourself. And when I tell him that I come from St. Annie's, she know where is St. Annie's? No. Everybody thought it was a country school, you know. But this little lady had to make them know. He said, this one, be careful of this one. St. Annie's is down by Tivoli side. Down Denham Town side. All of a sudden, just like when you sit down, you know, me one left in my road. But that was a good thing. When me come across, me always have a row <laughs> for myself. And she said, get out of your row by yourself. And the bank we can. I know time is going. So I said, by the way, where do you want me to reconcile? Because you have to know when to speak <laughs> properly. There's a time and place. I said, should I reconcile from the cash book or from the bank statement? She said, okay, from the cash book. So then I start to write. They say, what are you doing? I said, I am putting down the form. I'd pay attention. <laughs> and when I finished, I wasn't wondering if going to balance, you know. God is sitting supposed to balance <laughs> itself. Then she asked me a rhetorical question as the lecturer. Now I want you to balance from the bank statement to the cash book, I said, no need to miss. It's just the other way up. <laughs> what she never know that the only subject I passed was accounts. <laughs> what she never asked me, what the only thing I know was accounts. There are times when people want to put you down, but then pick the wrong man to trouble, the wrong girl to trouble. <laughs> but university... University is not an easy place. Oh, Lord, it's not an easy place. You see, when I was up at Cass, the girls, them look good. Because them say, it's two things you must get at Cass. I don't know if it was true, but let me hear it, sir. Them say, you must get a degree and a wife. You see, my wife, she is gorgeous. So there's some truth in the university. You must get a nice wife. Yeah, 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 me not lie. She's good. <laughs> but the girls, them no easy. And they come to me in the social. And say, how are you going home? So I look good on her. So this uptown girl should not be talking to a boy like me. From Rima. But you see, I have prayed about it and I said, Lord, can I tell them to be truthful? You have put aside some things. But this is a boy from the ghetto, me not afraid, can be bad for me to go to the ring I am wearing. <laughs> Never mind my school face. When me see your cute face, girl, they got me whole body shaking. <laughs> I, I'm not going to go any further. <laughs> but the thing is this. She said, how are you going on? I said, I'm going home in my Benz. <laughs> and she go over to her friends then. And said, that boy over there is on my Benz. <laughs> but your girls, they're laughing. No one like me, I tell. And she come back and ask me, so what time? I said, around 10 o'clock. So what time? Why you leave so early? I said, that time the bus come out of Papine. <laughs> the government has some Benz bus out there. All you have to do is go up with my dollar 70 and be gone in my yard. I never tell her I drive a Benz. I say, I'm going home. In a Benz. And of course, they never talk to me again, but that no matter. But I give God thanks that I could stand here today and when people would ask me about my mother, 
before I wrap up, I'll give you a chance to question me. And I hear people say, what does your mother do for a living? And it's usually a question that some of us don't want to answer. And I'm looking at you because some of you may not want to answer yourself. You see, my mother worked at KPH. And when people say, where your mother work? I have to come up with something good. I said, my mother is a potis. A potis. And they say, what? <laughs> I say, over KPH, there are doctors. Over KPH, there are nurses. Over KPH, there are pharmacists. Over KPH, there are physiotherapists. My mother washed the pot them. So she's a potis. I love my mother. I don't care what anybody wants to say. I love Vilma Smith. When everybody say I'm not coming out to anything, Vilma Smith was right there. When I feel come an entrance, she say, wheel and come again. When we get one CXC, she say, liquor is much. When God is in it, when I couldn't pass more than one more, she say, one, one, cook up. Full basket. But me never wait till it full. Me only wait for and I stand here today to tell you that I've read your form that you were asked to sign. 16 do's that you were to adhere to or at least recognize. But I want to give you a couple more do's today. Tell your friend beside you, a couple more do's. I don't think you'll be able to write them down, but you will hear them. There are some things that you need to know from the bottom of your heart. Jeremiah, the first do, first chapter 1 and verse 5. So before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before I ordained you, I sanctify you and ordain you to be a prophet. Isaiah 25 and verse 1 says, Oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name. For you... I work wonders, plans formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. Many don't know where we're going, but I do tell you what Jeremiah 29, 11 and say, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Can I stand to tell you that Isaiah has made it abundantly clear to everybody in chapter 44 and verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. There is no God beside me. Isaiah has made it very clear in Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19 that they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Because when some hypocrite come in, when some bad mind come in, when the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Isaiah tell us in chapter 54 and verse 17 that no weapon that form against me, form against you, shall prosper. Somebody say, and every tongue, and every tongue that rise against you, you shall condemn what I want you to know that Hebrews also give us some power in chapter 10 and verse 35 that do not cast away your confidence because it has great great reward when the doubters come in to tell you what you can do what you cannot do where you will go and where you won't go just cancel those words in the name of Jesus back it up and tell them that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I stand here today to tell you. When you're looking for a place to go. Just remember what David said. Blessed is the man that walketh not. In the counsel of the ungodly. When you're broken on the money. Just remember Psalms 23. That the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. When you feel lonely. Just remember 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. When you feel 
that you don't have no back it in. Just remember Psalms 27. That the Lord is my light and my salvation. When you feel like you're alone, just remember chapter 34 and verse 7. That the angels of the Lord encamp it round about them who fear him. And Jude said, I'm to tell you, no one to him was able to keep me from falling. And to make me stand in the presence of his glory. Blameless with great joy. To the one and only God. To Jesus Christ our Lord. Be glory. Be power. Be dominion and authority. Before time and now. And let inspire say amen. amen. God is good. All and all the time. Lady. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Mirage. Future leaders. Future leaders will now open the floor for questions for Mr. Michael Mirage. If you have a question, please raise your hand to be acknowledged and we'll bring the microphone to you. Thank you for that amazing and dynamic presentation. So what I want to ask today is where can I come for Sunday service? Because God knows, where can we go? Well, I guess you would realize by now, I am also a minister at the Power of Faith Ministries International in Portmore. I have surrendered and I have given my life to the Lord. You see, I went to church on the 1st of August, 2010, with my backpack to be baptized. And when I walked into the church, they said there was, this is not baptism Sunday. That's what you mean, this is not baptism Sunday. <laughs> and my wife was standing beside me, telling me that I cannot talk to the pastor like that. <laughs> I said, you are a member, you can't talk to him like that. Me and a member. And the pastor looked at me, and I'm being blunt. You would realize I can't change. And he said, furthermore, there is no water in the pool. I said, that is not a problem. Just carry me up on the stage, get two buckets of water, and dash it upon me, come now come out here today. And the rest is history. We'll take two more questions. Thank you. Um, my name is Chantal. It's not a question, I just want to thank you. You have truly inspired me. I remember the first time I met you, and it was, thank you, this was on profile. I remember I sat in my living room, and I listened to your story, and I was so moved and inspired that I had CXC that week and it was social studies, and they asked a question about how to improve students and how to motivate students to move to the next level, and I wrote about your story. I wrote about it, and I never forgot it since. Thank you, I'm truly inspired. Final question. Mr. Marsh, good afternoon. I, um, I don't even know what to say. I have to try to find the question. I really hear persons who are successful as who you are giving praise to God like that. And, I'm, and I, I know that God will honor you and will bless you even more. I too am a Christian and sometimes I feel that it's hard, but with God, as you said, everything is possible. Being that your mother was a potist, a blessed potist, how did you how did you find funding for your school, sir? 
You see, I got a job at KPH. In the, main te in the maintenance department. See, some people would not have taken the job in the maintenance department. But I took the job. Some job is better than no job. And I was moved to various divisions. Sometimes I think I was moved unfairly. But I remember. Some job, better than no job. You see, I can, I'm a secretary in the past. I was. I can type a medical report by the doctor that's simply writing normal. I have been typing long enough. I know what normal means. So if you do an ultrasound and the doctor writes normal, I know what to type. If you do an abdominal pelvic, a venogram, a hydrogram, I know what to write. I know what to type. The movement to the lab. I know what to type. In histology and pathology. Cytology. I know what to type. The movement into radiology. The work in ultrasound. The four way CT scan. I know what to type. They decided that I have some accounting sense with immune accounts. I know what to do. And they push me all around. With no increase in salary, the lowest point in the entire government system. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Because you ask. I know I'm on the border of my time, but it's finished. And I was sitting down. And Mark, you would know, when I come from the ghetto, you have to remain humble. It's like people are looking for a reason to get rid of you. But you have to remain humble. Because you know everything is stacked against you. And in my humility, I saw another member of staff doing something wrong. I said, that is wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. And by saying that, I got a decent box. But I'm from Rima. And we don't keep box. We don't keep box. We give back the box. But on a more serious note, I was sent to be dismissed. And I asked a logical question as part of the dismissal. I said, I did not see the box. Only the box sees here. And they sent for my file. And they keep looking. I said, did you pass this? I said, yes. Did you pass this? I say yes. Then they realize I'm on the verge of becoming a chartered accountant. And they say, and you are working here? They send me back in charge of financial affairs, reporting only to one person. <laughs> and I went to Ministry of Finance in the Accountant General Department. I control the country's money. And now I'm back in the Ministry of Health. Governing the entire financial affair as the principal financial officer. I can tell them about maintenance. I can tell them about radiology. I can tell them about the lab. I can tell them about every aspect because they push me around, but they never know they were training me all this time. That is my time. Mr. Mirage, Mr. Mirage. Mr. Mr. Mirage, there is one, there is one gentleman here who had one question. Son, make it very good. Morning, sir. Thank you very much for sharing with us that wonderful story. Um, given the history of Rima, right after the death of your dad, how did you go about fueling yourself to not be like the other kids in Rima? Oh, you know I'm not like them. You see, everything is a choice. You see, when I got my first CXC, the one CXC, just like you gave me the paper, I held on to the paper in my pocket. 
And I look around and where I am from. I look on the people that I grew up with. Not that I'm ashamed of them. I look at the roads, up first street, second street, third street. I watch them playing cricket. Some playing marble. I get a full activity. All gig. You ever see gig yet? A long time I've seen a gig. And in the middle of the football, somebody I play cricket. Somebody pick me a job on a ball. Somebody I play card on the corner. Somebody I play ludic. They get a full activity. And I'm just looking at it. And I hold on to my sexy. And I say, Lord, I can't eat this. You mean if you tell me, say, a barn a rima. Grew a rima. Me have a dead a rima. And when you bury me up in the cross, the road, you know, you have bury a rima too. I say, I can't eat this. And then I say, one way out of this ghetto. It must be the book. It must be education. Some luck of football. Sit there. Jamaica now going away. <laughs> luck of cricket. We don't have to complain about West Indies, you know. Luck of everything around me. Everything around me. And I can't tell you since you asked me, or you asked me, Lori, I even me go by time. Lock off everything. But they have a look on the girls, people, and say, hey, the boy, they're not too. <laughs> but when you decide that you want a change in your life, there must be a change that everybody who know you say, listen, listen, man, the boy, they really make a change in their life. And I have lived to see today that when I am telling people where I'm coming from, they must know because people from the ghetto, now behave so. You have to make a change. Thank you.